Hi, I'm Sarah Smith Barnum with NRAWomansOutlook.org, and I am here today to show you how to properly apply camo face paint for a turkey hunt because I am also going on a turkey hunt in May, and so I thought it would be a good thing to do. So, we have some great products here to try out from Hunter Specialties, which, if you go to my blog, which will be below, you can see more about these products. Some important things to remember when you're applying camo face paint for a hunt is to think about where you're hunting and what kind of landscape you're hunting because that's gonna affect the colors that you use. So typically you're gonna do your first layer, your base layer, with browns and greens depending on you know the season and the background. So another thing that you want to remember is that when you're applying the face paint that the whole point is to obviously camouflage your face and doing that you want to cover the higher points of your face that reflect the most light with darker colors and then lighter colors like the greens and the browns um, where your face has natural shadows like below your nose and lip and below your eyes. If you're a girl and you're doing this face paint um, most likely you're going to be wearing a hat like this or a different type of hat that may or may not be covering your ears. So if your ears are covered then don't worry about them but if your ears aren't covered you need to make sure that any skin that's showing you are covering with the camo face paint. Um, if you're a guy obviously that means your neck, your ears, the back of your head, whatever's not covered by the hat or your camo. Before you go out into the field and actually use this camo face paint um, you might want to try this out at home a few times just to make sure you know what you're doing. Um, the nice thing about a lot of these products is they come in compacts that come with a mirror because you know a lot of guys don't carry mirrors on them and no girl is really taking a mirror into the field. So um, just give it a few shots because you know it's not going to be perfect the first few times you do it and it doesn't have to be a professional job. You just want to make sure that your face is completely covered and that it's not flat and one dimensional. So you have a finished product here. Just remember that obviously this is not perfect. It doesn't have to be perfect as long as you've got some multi-dimensional layered effect on your face. That's all that's important. So some helpful tips when you're using these products from Hunter Specialty that I found. Um, if you're using the Speed Camo Stick, these are really helpful for just getting the paint on quick on the bigger spaces of your face or your neck. Um, but for your eyes or your ears or something that's a little more delicate, I found that the Camo Compact is really helpful, um, especially when it's just out of the package. It's pretty tough, so if you take your nail to it and kind of mix the colors together, like this brown and beige together, it's great for under your eye and around your eye. Um, so I highly suggest trying that out.